Well, all right. Uh, got a question here for a second. So, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. Let me go ahead and use this as a teaching tool for a second, and hopefully, um, we'll show the, uh, you the advantages of being able to build something like this, just like this right here, uh, yourself. <clears throat> First of all, the time, the energy, and the effort to learn how to do this. I'll be the first to tell you, it's like anything. It's not easy when you first start, but as you go, you get better and better and it sticks with you. Now, this particular building right here, and you know, people wanted to know a little bit about cost or whatever. Let me, let me give you an example. This building right here could actually be a nice little small home for a family. And let's look in here for a second. That's what it could be, but this is that's, this is not what it's gonna be. But look at the size of this thing. Now, I don't have my other phone to do the calculating work right now, but this building is a, I think it's a 26 by 40. 26 by 40. All right, we can figure it up a little bit later. Matter of fact, let me figure it up right now and I'll get right back. Oh, uh, yeah. So this building is a 26 by 40. Oh, I hope I didn't forget the numbers already, but that figures out about 1,040 square feet. Okay. Now, if you have brethren um, that know how to do this work, or if you have some people that you know uh, that probably have uh, the equipment to be able to do it, you wouldn't believe how much money you could save. I mean, the greatest expense over anybody's lifetime is by far rent and mortgage, as far as living goes. And um, But you think about this for a second. This building uh, is a split-face block building. It's a split-face foundation. That's what the block is called. Uh, split-face means, if you look at it right here, it has a rough, rough texture on the outside, but it's smooth on the inside. Oh, boy. Getting dusted on that. Definitely took a bath there that time, didn't I? So anyway, but it's smooth on the inside. Now, here is the advantages to concrete or block buildings. Number one, it's a whole lot more wind resistant than stick frame traditional building. A lot of times when you see buildings, uh, especially in urban housing areas or housing areas when you have tornadoes or high winds come, you see these buildings, they just instantly, just like that, they're blown away and collapsed. Uh, this building, it's another story. When I tell you that this building can withstand uh, winds of 150 miles an hour, we ain't joking. We're not playing. Uh, we've been through one of those up here. And um, and our buildings and the way we build, do our roofs and everything is totally intact. But this building right here, when it's built, it could easily stand for 150 years. It's termite resistant, uh, depending on the way you design it. But when you have um, a building like this, where that you have a texture on the outside, exterior, and then you have a smooth texture if you wanted to, instead of a uh, railroading it like this, we could have just did it smooth. Um, either way it goes, um, you have uh, your external and your internal wall. If you, choose, if you choose to insulate it, you can. But let me walk you around here, let me show you something, okay? I'm just gonna throw you some numbers right off the top of my head here for a second. All right, just the concrete on the flooring right here, this inside here right now, um, just the inside pad. That's not including the footing. But if we just did, let's say we just did a monolithic pour, that means all of it at once, the footing in this. Let me, I'm gonna try to make it easy and simple, not hard to understand. But you think about this for a second, okay? It probably cost us $3,000, maybe no more than $4,500 just in concrete for this floor, all right? And then when you look at um, the building in itself, like I said, when you have the external and then the internal wall, listen very closely, all right? When you have this, you already have a texture out here, a nice looking building. Uh, this is a, a, a particular storage building, so it doesn't have many windows in it. <clears throat> it does have a couple over here. You see the holes over there. But what I'm getting to is these blocks, at the time that I purchased these split-face blocks, um, at the time there was just um, uh, maybe about $2.50 a piece. 
That's what these blocks were, $2.50 a piece, okay? And if you had regular 8-inch blocks, now regular 8-inch block, uh, if I can find one down here real quick. Oh, boy, I don't see any right now. But anyway, a regular 8-inch block has this texture right here, inside and outside. That's what it does. Now, <clears throat> When you have your internal and external walls built as you go like this, and right now, this wall is probably sitting at, on this end, up here, maybe it's more or less showing like maybe, I don't know, uh, 12 feet. We're going up 22 courses. So if you go eight times 22, that means eight inches or eight times 22, you'll see exactly how far we're actually going up on this particular building right here. But, the totality of this building right here and how much it will probably cost by the time we finish this external wall right here and, and get it up, and that's not including the roof, we will have less than, don't tell, listen to me, less than $12,000 in this building. And then by the time we put the roof, the soffit and everything on the way we build it, this building right here can be built for less than $25,000. That's a thousand and 40 square feet, 26 by 40. And when you think about um, if you wanted to face it out, as if you want to do the interior as a home or whatever it is, you want to do all the plumbing, you could be in a home, a small home to start off with. <coughs> if you're content, you can make it any size you want for less than $45,000. And you got people out here going, buying all these homes and stuff. To see the reason why the Most High told us in Jeremiah 29, Verse 5, for us to build our own houses and plant our own gardens. His wisdom far exceeds all the people out here in this world. And I couldn't tell you how much money that this thing will be. This thing, this building right here will be upwards of eighty dollars and $90,000 by the time if we put worldly labor involved in the cost of this building. But because we live in common unity, it's our building. We've learned the skills, the trade. We can do it for ourselves. Isn't that beautiful? Is that just not beautiful within itself? And you can do the same thing. You really truly can. Anyway, so um, I hope I said something that not only stimulate thought, but actually would um, hopefully put a defibrillator on your mind and give you hope in some uncertain times. And think about it. Would you much rather pay a mortgage? I'm like this. Uh, let me say this. Would you much rather have this building paid off as you go and never have to worry about paying another mortgage or if you choose to have a piece of land build your own home and then sell it probably make double or triple the amount or or would you could rather can go out here and buy a mortgage buy a home with a mortgage claiming that you own it the bank owns it and it's not yours which one would you rather do anyway that's the wisdom y'all have a rest blessed blessed day okay i got to go